This video is so important for me to get out to you as soon as possible because I want to help more people begin to make money faster inside of their business selling digital products. What I'm experiencing right now in my business is an average of $5,000 to $7,000 a week. And what I am telling you is that when I was simply earning anywhere between $5,000, um, you know, $6,000, $7,000 a month inside of my business, it literally felt like it was so much more harder in order to hit those numbers. Like I felt like every single day was a push to make sure that I would reach those numbers by the end of the month. And when my business got to a point where it is now, where I look up and today is the 8th of April, but on the 4th of April, I realized I had already earned $5,000 for the month. That's four days into the month that I had already earned $5,000 and it didn't even feel like it. There was this incredible amount of ease about the way the sales rolled in. And so what I want to do in this video is I want to help you fall into a state of momentum. We are not talking about creating digital products in this video. In this video, we are talking about like once you have your idea around a digital product that you either want to create and sell or a digital product that you decide to license and sell, how do we get into a state of actually selling it to begin making money? I am telling you, I have discovered that it's easier to dive in, build momentum, and to get your business to a place of earning thousands of dollars weekly than it is to try to kind of just slow poke this thing and earn thousands of dollars monthly. I'm going to share in this video exactly how I've been able to achieve these results for myself so that you literally can just begin to copy them. As I've watched a lot of varying videos online, I keep seeing people ask questions like, I've created my ebook, or I've created this digital product, or I've created this digital store. Now, how do I begin to make money? How do I market? How do I promote? How do I sell these digital products? And so I realized there are a lot of people out there that are helping people set up digital products and get their stores set up and even helping people purchase digital products that they can turn right back around and sell. And I don't think that's what's needed right now. I think more people need to know how to take the digital products that they have and how to turn right back around, get out there and begin selling these digital products. There's never been a better time right in this space to get out there and to begin selling it. No matter what your digital product is, whether you created it yourself or whether you licensed it, believe it or not, there are volumes and volumes and volumes of buyers that are out there ready to buy the digital product from you. You've got to learn how to get your booty out there, get your digital product positioned so that people can discover you every single day. Because once people begin discovering you every single day, your business begins to fall into a rhythm and a flow where you begin to make sales consistently. You'll start off making sales, then it will be a trickle, then it will start popping like popcorn, and then it will start popping from all different directions. And so in this video, that's exactly what we're going to talk about is how you can position your digital product to start selling and earning you anywhere between $5,000 and $7,000 a week. Let's dive in. One of the first things you've got to recognize is what you don't know. Is it fair to assume that if you got your insurance license, right, you went through all of the rigmarole of learning about insurance, right, you got your insurance license, so now you're in position to be able to sell insurance to people. Outside of having to bug your family, your friends, and your coworkers, wouldn't you say it's fair to assume that you would actually have to learn how to get out there and begin marketing, promoting, and getting people coming to you that have an interest in purchasing insurance or that are ready to explore, you know, getting insurance for their unique situation? Absolutely. And so one of the very, very first things that I did to get to a place of being able to make this really, really good money in my business is I had to learn the business of online business. I had to learn digital marketing. And so a few of the things that I had to learn, number one, I had to learn about marketing systems, right? I didn't want to be someone that was out there like pushing my digital products in people's DMs. I didn't want to be out there like trying it to, you know, post my life away on Facebook and how mean people to buy. And I certainly didn't want to be the person that 
blaming other people for why I wasn't successful. And so I realized that by learning things like marketing systems, that it would allow me to position my digital product in such a way. And as we go through this masterclass, you're going to understand why all of these things are so important and why learning them and inserting them in your business in a certain way is just going to be advantageous because you've got to go into this thinking the right way. Most people come online and while it might be easy to pop over to Canva, put together an ebook or pop over to someone's MRR store and buy a digital product, deciding to sell it, deciding to understand like how people are doing what they're doing online is a completely different game. And if you don't get your mind right around the whole idea that you've got to learn this stuff and you've got to learn the intricate details of how all of this works, right? Then you're just going to be another one of these people that are whining and complaining about I invested into all these digital products, right? But I haven't made a dime. Believe it or not, you are 100% responsible for the financial results that you want to achieve. And so I'm telling you, all of these things are super, super important. And so with deciding to learn the business of online business and learn digital marketing, I was able to learn about marketing systems. I was able to learn about email marketing. I was able to learn about how to use YouTube as a platform to call in people that are perfect for the digital products and any kind of offer um, you know, that I want to promote. And so I'm not going to dive deep into that, but you've just got to wrap your head around the idea that you're going to learn, that you're going to do whatever it is that you've got to do to not just think you're going to be, you're going to pop up online and start just doing reels because believe it or not, even something that seems as simple as doing a reel or doing a video or doing a story, believe it or not, there are strategies around that. And if you don't have your business set up properly, which we're going to talk about in this video, then trust me, you are going to fail. You're going to fail big time, right? And then you're going to get on this track of wanting to blame other people or blame the industry. And that's not what I want for you. I want to help you begin to build up this momentum quickly because again, I'm telling you, it's easier to get into momentum and start making this kind of money weekly versus trying to push your way, right? And, and add up all the pennies and dimes, right? To a $5,000 month. It just is. And I've been doing this for a very, very long time. And I'm telling you, it is easier to get in this kind of momentum versus, again, slow poking this thing, right? And trying to drag out $5,000 over the course of 30 days. So the very, very first thing, please write this down. You've got to wrap your head around that you're going to learn the business of online business. You are going to learn digital marketing because that will not only set you up to sell whatever the digital product is you have your heart set on selling right now, but it will set you up to be able to sell and make money from anything you ever want to sell online. The next thing that I personally did is I decided that I wanted to make big money. Again, $5,000 to $7,000 a week is not small money. And you're not just going to hope, wish, and pray your way there. And so the very first thing that I did was I decided, okay, Steph, like we want to make big money. I got okay with the idea of making big money, right? And I set my sights on making big money. Believe it or not, this is an area that most people just don't step into. Most people say what they want, but they never decide. Please write that down because that's a really, really big and important point. When you decide, you literally become unavailable for any other outcome. So at this phase, anything less than five to $7,000 a week, no go for me. I've decided upon, like, this is the bare minimum for my business. This is what I'm available for. This is what I work for. This is what I put everything in place for, right? And therefore, that is what I get. Most people never decide. They just perpetually live in a state of wanting, so when I first got started many, many years ago, I wanted to make this my new way of life. And guess what? I decided and I made it so, right? I wanted to earn my first six-figure year many years ago. So I decided upon it. And that very year that I decided and put a plan in place, guess what? $108,000, all right? Where my business is at right now, I wanted a business that was doing no less than $22,000 a month because I was inspired by someone else that was doing that. We'll do the math, five to $7,000 a week, right? I wanted it, I decided on it, and I made it so. 
So I want to really, really encourage you. Don't just listen and watch this video from a state of like, I want to make big money, but really get solid around the fact that I'm deciding on this. I know what I'm going to do with the money. This is much bigger than just a want. It's not just a desire, right? But I am deciding that this is exactly what I'm going to accomplish. Now, do you see when we make this kind of decision, let's go back up to the very, very first step. Now it's non-negotiable not to learn the skills that are going to help you make it so. Because we're moving beyond hope and a wish and a prayer, we've decided, which basically means that we are open, right, to doing anything that we've got to do in order to make that possible. All right, so next thing is, please move from a state of wanting, right, to deciding, because big numbers like five to $7,000 a week, you just don't look up on it. Numbers like this happen for people that are intentional about getting these kind of results for themselves. The next step that I took, and it's going to be the next step that you got to take as well. You got to decide on your niche and decide on your ideal buyer. A niche would be something like the make money online niche. An ideal buyer would be someone specific right in the make money online niche. All right. You've got to get very, very clear on those two things. Why? Because the digital product that you're trying to sell, it's got to be specifically for them. When they come upon it, they've got to know, I've been looking for this. I want this. This is going to, in fact, help me. Or this digital product is speaking specifically to my problem. And if I buy this, right, I believe that I'm going to be able to solve whatever my challenge is. When you start your marketing, which we're going to talk about in this video, your marketing is specifically for your niche and for that ideal person that you designated. The reason why I make so many sales in my business is not because someone is like, I want that digital product. Yes, they do want the digital product, but when they come across my content, do you know the biggest compliment I get? Steph, I feel like you're talking directly to me, right? I hear you. Like they can resonate with me sharing what I'm sharing. Why? Because I created it specifically for them because I know them, right? So literally every part of your business, it is about your niche and it's about that ideal buyer in the niche. The more clearly you can speak to them, the more clearly they can hear you and the more motivated they are to make the buying decision because they have the confidence that whatever it is that you're selling them, it's going to help them get the transformation or help them get the result that they desire. Now, again, let's fall back on $5,000 to $7,000 a month. It is far more easier to make tons of money faster, meaning like sale after sale after sale, when more people who encounter you on a daily basis can hear you, right, can feel you, feel like you're talking directly to them because now you're not convincing people. Literally, people are just resonating with your content and with your messaging. This was a huge aha in my own business. And when I really, really took the time to get clear on my niche and to get clear on my ideal person, everything changed about my business and I just began to make money so much more faster. So again, do you see how all of these things, right? Like we stack them on, we add them up. And it's not just that we do one thing and that's the contributing thing that helps us make more money, but we make more money because we kind of like force the results to happen in volume and in shorter spans of time, allowing us to condense time frames, right? So we make those sales pop faster. All right. So your very, very next thing is you've got to get clear on your niche and you've got to get clear on who that ideal buyer is. Now, when you are deciding to learn digital marketing and learn the business of online business, which trust me, like I am a perpetual student, you never graduate from digital marketing school. You never graduate from learning the business of online business, right? But one of those things that you're going to continue to learn about and master is niche niching, is your ideal client client work, right? Is your ideal buyer work? All right. So it is a work in progress, but you want to make sure that in all of your learning, right, that that is something that you are being taught and that you are beginning to understand and that you're beginning to implement inside of your business. Because let me ask you this. If you think about the buying decisions you make, do you generally make buying decisions when it comes to the online space? You know, as someone that watches videos or consumes content, when you do make a buying decision, is it because someone has what you want exclusively? Or is it because you resonate with them, you trust them, maybe they've given you confidence, right? You feel like they're talking directly to you. You feel like they get you, 
That is why it's so important to not only get solid on your niche, but to really understand who this ideal buyer is so that every single time you speak or you create. So again, whether you're creating a digital product from scratch, you got to know who they are because every word in that digital product, right? You should have them in mind. And even if you're licensing a digital product like I do, right? I need to make sure that when I am purchasing that digital product and I've licensed it and I'm going through and making any kind of edits, like I need to know like absolutely Absolutely, my ideal buyer would buy this digital product every single day of the week. You get solid on that, and I'm telling you, every single thing else that we talk about, right, it's just going to multiply, right, how fast you set yourself up to make those sales. The next thing is so important, and I think it's easy for people to overlook this because they get so excited on creating digital products or licensing digital products that they themselves are excited about for one reason or another, but they really haven't given thought to their ideal buyer and what their ideal buyer wants. So you want to make sure once you've chosen your niche, once you've chosen that ideal person, that you're selecting a digital product or digital products that you know they absolutely want. You've got to be sold on the fact that when my ideal buyer comes across this digital product, like they're going to know this is the thing that's going to help them, right? Get their breakthrough or get their transformation or help them in the area they want to be helped in. The way that I look at this again, because I've gone from a place of $5,000, $6,000, $7,000 months, right? To five to $7,000 a week. And one of the catalysts that helped me get here is selling digital products that I know for a fact that my ideal buyer would buy by today. Meaning, if I was talking about it, if they discovered my video and they were like, yes, that's exactly what I want. It's exactly what I need. I am confident this is going to help me on my journey that they would actually say yes to it today. The reason why that is so important is that you don't want to ever sell something where you feel like you have to convince, where you feel like you have to live in the DMs or answer a bunch of questions via email, or that you're having to convince someone on why they actually need this. And oftentimes with digital products, right, people, and I coach people on this all the time, they want to sell very, very like esoteric things where someone doesn't wake up in the morning and say, oh, I need to, you know, fix my mindset. Even though we know like mindset, right, is something that is really, really important with any area of, you know, success we want to experience, believe it or not, it's not problematic where someone literally like sits on the edge of their bed, head in their hands, trying to figure out like how they're going to fix this thing. Now, can you imagine people sitting on the edge of their bed, head in their hand, wondering how they're going to pay the bills? how they're going to have enough money, how they're going to pay their kids tuition, how they're going to afford retirement, right? How they're going to pay, you know, the car note that might be two months behind. Absolutely. Right. And so when you offer a product, right, that gets someone from head in their head, I mean, head in their hand, right. And they're like, wait a second, like that's the exact answer that that's going to help me. Why would they not buy it? Right. Again, and I'll always say perfect world. It might not be today, but maybe they stack their coins and a week or two down the road, they're able to buy it, but they buy it without convincing. They buy it right with the mindset of, I want to buy today. Some people will buy today. Some people will buy later, but you don't want to create, right? Or license a digital product where you feel like you have to convince people on why they need it. You want it to be an absolute no brainer for them. Why? Because again, as we go more through this masterclass, right? As people begin to discover you on a daily basis, right? You want them to come to the conclusion that, oh my gosh, I need this. Now think about this. If every single day, brand new people are discovering you because you learn digital marketing, because you learn the business of online business, you're creating content. We're going to talk about that in a minute. And brand new people are coming into your world. Don't you think it's just a matter of time, right? But before that happens and before sales start popping pretty much on a daily basis, absolutely. So you see why, again, all of these things are important. If I have a digital product, which I do, that people love to buy because they totally see how it's going to solve their challenge and help them begin making money online, they buy it. I don't have to talk to hardly anybody, right? For every, like, you know, 10 sales, right, maybe I answer one email. But for the most part, every buyer just buys because it makes sense for them. Now, think about if I had to convince. Think about if I had to do one-on-one calls. Think about if I had to do info sessions. Think about if I had to answer an email every single time somebody was interested. Oh, my gosh. That would totally slow down the buying process, 
right? And so you want to make sure you're so thoughtful and you're so mindful over this digital product. And literally like you want it to be a heck friggin' yes for your ideal buyer when they come across your digital product. That's just going to help you make money a lot faster inside of your business. Again, because we're talking $5,000 plus weeks, I really want to draw attention to this point as well. I'm just assuming that you're someone newer. Maybe you don't have a big audience. Maybe you have no audience at all and you're starting from scratch. Again, another pet peeve. A lot of times people don't realize that people are starting from scratch. So let's like set the expectation right. Because these are conversations I really wish people would have had with me earlier on and that I wish I really, really got because I could have made so much more money faster in my business when I was first getting started. You really want to keep the price point of your digital product in mind as well. So if you have virtually no audience, right, it's going to take time to grow your audience. But the great thing about the world we're in right now is that you can begin to grow your audience and you can begin making sales at the same time. So knowing that you can begin growing your audience and making sales at the same time, we think about $5,000 weeks and let's say the price point on your digital product is $47. Do the math and that tells you how many sales of that digital product you've got to make in a week. Even though I have a bigger audience, you know, I have an established business, I still don't want it to take tons and tons and tons of sales in order for me to hit, um, you know, my expectations every single week. So I sell a digital product that's priced at $500. So it means all it takes is 10 sales for me to be able to hit my minimum of $5,000 a week. I want to bring that up because it's really, really important. Oftentimes people just get excited about selling a digital product and they lowball the price. They don't think about how many sales it's going to take and they end up doing all of this work. They make a handful of sales, maybe, and then they feel really, really let down because the coins just aren't stacking, you know? And so I'm not selling you. I'm not saying you've got to decide to sell the digital marketing course as a digital product like I do. But the one thing I want to totally encourage you to do is be incredibly mindful, right, over your price point because you just want the money to make sense, like as you're really beginning to dive into your journey. And if you decide to, you know, come into my community and take advantage of my mentorship, I will help you with all of this. But I'm just telling you, like, these are just conversations that are not had enough out there. And being how real I know that these $5,000 to $7,000 weeks are possible and they can be Come possible for anyone. I just want to make sure people know what it really takes so that you can begin to build up that momentum sooner versus later. The next thing that you want to do to start selling your digital product and put you in the way of being able to earn $5,000 to $7,000 a week is you've got to pick your marketing platform and begin creating quality content that's going to help you get discovered on a daily basis. Now, because I've chosen YouTube, YouTube isn't the kind of platform where I have to be creating content every single day. If you choose a platform like Instagram or TikTok or maybe even Facebook, those platforms are fast moving, right? So oftentimes it's like the moment you create it, it's already obsolete. You've got to constantly be creating content multiple times a day, right? Just to stay on top to become visible. With YouTube, I can literally create a couple of pieces of content throughout the week, right? And that content enables people to discover me every single day. Please write this down. It's not the fact that you have to be creating content every single day, but you want to make sure you're creating content and you're building a content library on your chosen platform that's giving people the opportunity, right, to discover you every single day. You need people to be finding you and discovering you every single day. Because if they're discovering you, guess what? They're also being introduced to the digital product or digital products that you have to offer. Now for me, I choose YouTube, all right? I create a video on Monday, I go live on Thursday, I go live on Saturday, all right? Like that's the foundation of my content plan. From that content plan, I generate on average anywhere between 11 to 13 leads a day. These are people that discover my content, decide to leave YouTube, join my email list to learn more about the digital product that I sell. From those 11 to 13 leads a day, right, I'm to a phase right now of averaging one to two sales a day inside of my business to equal anywhere between $5,000 to $7,000 a week. Seriously, I have to chuckle because like where can a girl like me go and do that 
no other place but the internet and the same can be true for you as well remember this is all a work in progress but i just want to lay out the steps because again when i was getting started so many years ago it would have just been helpful had i had a big picture around how i was going to go from knowing nothing to being able to set myself up for the success that i wanted so now from your platform and creating content on that platform you're going to make sure that you're building your email list and that you have a routine for email marketing so in my instance so that you know i walk the walk remember i generate anywhere between 11 to 13 leads a day that come onto my email list all right so from my email list that gives me more opportunity to be able to sell the digital product that i offer inside of my business now i am telling you this is an area that so many people don't implement they ignore they neglect inside of their business and they rely so heavily on showing up on their socials to make sales you don't own the socials i don't own youtube no one owns TikTok or instagram or facebook and so if you're solely relying upon that platform to help you in making sales you're leaving so much money on the table and you're leaving your business very very volatile because if your account gets wiped out for one reason or another or as we've seen happen where you'll look up and all of a sudden instagram is down facebook is down TikTok is down youtube has even been down a time or two it's so awesome Awesome to know that I have an email list that I can still communicate to that I have an email list that I can send offers to I have an email list that can still make me money so marketing yourself on your chosen platform is good and there are a lot of people that are making really really good money doing that but like anything in life there's a good better and best and by deciding to grow an email list on the back of your platform content, right, that is absolutely better. It's going to allow you to make more money. Please write that down. An email list and a routine for email marketing will absolutely help you make more money. The very first year that I hit six figures, right, 86% of my revenue came directly from my email list. People that joined my email list and then sometime throughout that year decided to buy. That's a lot of money to leave on the table by neglecting to not only build my email list, but to set up a routine right for email marketing. Again, going back to the very, very first step I talked about, you've got to make your mind up. You're going to learn digital marketing and learn the business of online business. Because if you get caught up following a lot of these wannapreneurs, right, you could find yourself out there spending all of these hours on social media and never building your email list and then just not making the money that you desire. Like, let me ask you if this inspires you. So this morning, um, I was getting my time in on the treadmill. Right. I was on the treadmill. I was listening to my mentor. And as I'm on the treadmill listening to my men mentor, guess what happens? A $500 sale comes in from someone that bought my digital marketing course that I sell. This person had been on my email list since February. I never spoke to them. I didn't sell them. I didn't convince them. I didn't do a conference call with them. They had never emailed me to ask any information. But because they joined my email list way back in February, today we're in April. Right. They've been able to sit on my email list, receive emails, receive communication, be inspired, be empowered. And when the time was right for them, push one link inside of one email, make a buying decision and I make five hundred dollars. That's the power of email. That can't happen if you don't have an email list. All right. So, again, the reason you want to make sure that this is not just about how do I make money fast. No, how do you build a strong foundation? Because five to seven thousand dollar weeks is on the back end of me deciding to build a strong foundation. And that's what all of these steps are really about. Understand that with everything you do online, regardless what platform you choose, there will be some people that will decide to purchase from you pretty immediately. But a large majority of people will purchase sometime in the future. And guess what? They'll purchase from you sometime in the future because of the emails that they actually receive from you. Reminder, we're talking five to $7,000 a week, right? Well, that takes being very, very intentional about making sales inside of our businesses. Sales don't make themselves. Digital products don't sell themselves. All right, you are the digital marketer in your business. All right, so for this step, you've got to understand you have to give call to actions every single day. 
give call to actions in every bit of your content. So no matter when someone discovers your content, there is a call to action to learn more about the digital products that you're selling. What I love about YouTube is that as I do my videos every single week, as I go live Thursday and Saturday, as I post on YouTube, right, there is always a call to action to learn more about my digital product. So whether it's a video that I did months ago or a video that I do today, as people are discovering me every single day, they're always given a call to action, which is exactly why not only I make sales on a daily basis, but I build my email list every single day as well. You want to make sure you're giving call to actions directly from your email. So as you begin to implement email marketing, every single email that gets sent out to your list, whether it's a campaign or whether it's a broadcast, you want to make sure there is a call to action to go and learn more about the digital product that you are offering them. Again, if you want to make $5,000 to $7,000 a week, where for most of us, that means we've got to be in position to make sales every single day, then guess what? You have to give call to actions every single day. Understand. Sales is the highest form of serving. If you're not selling your digital product, AKA your solution to your ideal buyer, it means your ideal buyer can't get the intended transformation you have for them. If they're only consuming your free content, right, they are so far away from the intended transformation. When you understand that your digital product offers your ideal buyer a transformation, it changes the tune in which you make sure they know that they need it because you know that without buying it, right, that their transformation is not likely. That is a whole word. When you feel that way about your digital product and it's not just something you're trying to sell, right, the volumes of sales that you will make will change. Why? Because now your ideal buyer, they have that same feeling. They feel your passion and they understand if I want a transformation in this area, right, then I need to buy this digital product. I need to buy this from Steph. I need to buy this from you. So understand if you're not giving call to actions daily, like I just have to say, do you care about your ideal buyer? Right? I care about my ideal buyer. I want them to make money online. I want them to sell their digital products. I want them to learn digital marketing. I want them to know what I know because again, how does this happen to a girl like me? Because I learned digital marketing because I learned the business of online business, because I got serious about the steps that I follow. And that's why I'm offering these steps to you too. So make sure on a daily basis. Okay. Yes. Every single day. And here's the thing, just like content, when you set your business up properly, you don't have to physically be working in your business every single day for the content to be delivered and for the call to actions to be given, right? You create the content so that as people are out there searching, which is again, the power of YouTube, right? As they're out there searching and they discover you, right? The content can do the talking. The content can give the call to actions. They join your email list. You have emails that are already set up, right? The emails can do the talking. The emails can give the call to actions. That's the beauty in all of this. And it's like I said, this is all a work in progress, which means, yes, you're taking in this information via my video, right? But the question is like, what are you going to do to make sure that you really, really get this? Are you going to get the digital marketing training that you need? Are you going to decide to learn the business of online business? Are you going to be thankful that the steps were laid out to you this way so that you know exactly what to expect and what you've got to do to start making this real for yourself? You know, so I really hope this has been helpful so far. So just checking in, we still are talking about $5,000 to $7,000 a week, right? I want to make sure that we're still very, very clear on that, that we're talking about playing a big game and not playing a small game. So I want to offer up some baller tips in closing. Number one, decide to be consistent with the steps that I outlined here. Decide that you're going to get the training. Decide you're going to learn digital marketing. Decide you're going to learn the business of online business. There is no selling at digital products to the degree of twenty dollars to $25,000 a month and not understanding how business is done online. Not understanding how digital marketing plays a role in your success. Do not flip-flop. Do not get shiny object syndrome. Decide to stay the course. Follow these steps. Stick to these steps. Repeat these steps and trust the process. 
Do not disappear at the first sign that this is not working. Rome was not built in a day, but Rome was in fact built because they trust the process that brick by brick will eventually get this thing done. Trust the process. Do not disappear at the first sign of trouble or the first sign of defeat, right? We all feel defeated. We all make mistakes, right? We all don't win on a daily basis when we're first getting started, but I would never be where I am right now, right? If I gave up the first week, I didn't hit my goal. All right, so again, these steps are so important because they're designed to help you in staying the course and to actually have an outline, right, on how to build the foundation that can help you begin to create the momentum to support $5,000 to $7,000 weeks. This is not just exclusive for me. This is not just happening and working for me, right? There are a lot of people out there that are experiencing phenomenal financial wins. Why? Because they're working a system. This is my system. It's not only working for me, it's working for for scores and scores of people that are out there and it can work for you as well. You just can't disappear. Be accountable. Remember why you are doing this for both you and also for your ideal buyer. When you can really, really remember that, you won't get selfish and retreat or give up again at the first sign of this isn't working. Instead, you'll become incredibly inspired and empowered to help your ideal buyer because you know that when they buy the digital product that you offer, that they're going to get a transformation. So if you can remember that all the ideal, all the buyers you want this year in your business, they are already out there. They just have yet to hear and learn about you. So if you keep them in mind, believe it or not, it will allow you to keep going, to keep doing, because you realize that you actually have lives to impact, lives to change and transformations to bring out from your digital product. Our digital products are bigger than just our financial goals. Our financial goals will be a natural byproduct of serving enough people and helping enough people get the digital product in their hands that's going to bring about the intended transformation. Keep them first. I'm telling you the money will come. Be super intentional about your financial goals. So of course we're keeping them first. But be intentional, right, about your financial goals. Um, again, don't be someone that wants these results. Be someone who has decided upon them for all the right reasons, right? Like I realize my life is better supported when I make $5,000 a week consistently, all right? So for me, I am unavailable for doing anything less than $5,000 a week. That is what I am intentional about. Get intentional about your financial decisions, right? About your financial outcome and move from a place of wanting it to a place of I've decided to make it so. When you decide, these steps just become like a no brainer to follow, right? Until, right, you begin to see the, out, the outcome and the breakthrough, right, that you're working towards. All right, now let's close this baby down <laughs> in true fashion of following my own steps. I'm going to give you my call to action. Why do I market? Why do I sell? Why do I promote? Why do I talk about this digital marketing course with Master Risa Writes literally every single day? Because keeping my ideal buyer in mind, I know that this is the training that's going to help them learn the business of online business, establish the digital marketing skills that are going to help them get their share of this internet money by selling digital products. They don't have this information. I know they are going to struggle. I offer this digital marketing course with Master Resale Rights every single day because I've experienced so much financial success from developing these skills. I literally feel like I owe it to my ideal buyer. I owe it to the niche to let them know what is possible when you decide to learn these digital marketing skills for yourself. Like literally, you can write your own check right? When you develop these skills. So I feel like I owe it to people to let them know what is possible when you decide to buckle down. When you don't decide to buckle down, we already know what is possible. And it's what so many people are out there experiencing right now, which is riding the struggle bus. Believe it or not, you do have an option. The digital product I decide to sell is a digital marketing course with Master Resale Rights, and it will teach you everything that you need to know about getting set up for online business success and getting your share of this internet money. Remember, we always have a choice. We can decide to create our digital products and sell digital products that we create, which I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars doing that, 
or we can decide to license high quality done for you digital products that allow us to sell them as our own without having to create them. So with this digital marketing course, if you love what you're learning, which I know that you are, and you're like, I would love to sell this as a high ticket digital product offer in my business and earn $500 every single time I sell it, we give you the license to be able to do that. So even if you have your heart set on creating a digital product that you've been wanting to bring to market for a very, very long time, but you're also recognizing that you need to learn these skills and develop yourself in this way, you'll also have a license that you can tap into immediately and you too can begin to sell this course to other people because maybe you'll, you'll be like me where you feel like you owe it to people, right? To make sure they have the right information in their hands. And guess what? When you decide to get this set up to sell, which our training teaches you exactly how to do it, walks you through exactly how to do it, Anytime someone buys the course from you, cha-ching, $500 directly into your bank account. And as a bonus, I sell this digital marketing course with Master Resell Rights because it allows me to offer my mentorship for free to help those that are willing to take a chance, that are willing to bet on themselves to get what it is that they want. For people that are ready to move from wanting to deciding on what it is that they want and going for it. So when you decide to invest in this digital marketing course with Master Resale Rights, as of the making of this video, you're also going to get my mentorship as an added bonus, no additional cost. When we bring this all home and really put it into perspective, the exact same way that I showed up today to walk you through the steps of how to go from just creating or having digital products to actually making money with digital products to the tune of five to $7,000 a week. Guess what, boo-boo? That's exactly what you're gonna be doing on your chosen platform with the digital product or digital products that you decide to start selling. So literally, I just showed up and I showed you how it's done. If you would love to learn more about my digital product, this digital marketing course, I will drop the details down below in the description. Make sure you subscribe, click on notifications, and if you are walking away with an aha, please drop it in the comments. I would love to hear from you. I hope that you are entirely leaving better, and I look so forward to seeing what you do and how much money you make with the digital products you decide to sell. Bye-bye.